Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to discuss about the week 3 of bits and bytes of computer networking. So in this week, we are going to talk about the transport and application layer of TCP IP layer. Okay, so the first quiz is about transport layer. Okay, so we are going to see the feedbacks uh, and the first question is what ordering of TCP flags makes up the three-way handshake? Scene, scene or ACK and ACK. Okay, scene for synchronization. ACK or CNAC and then ACK acknowledgement. Number two, transport layer protocols like TCP and UDP introduce the concept of a port. How many bits is a port field? 16 bits is a port field. Okay, number three, please select a valid all valid TCP control flags ACK, RST, and ARG. And these are the valid. Okay, number four, a device that blocks traffic that meets certain criteria is known as a firewall. Okay, so that's all about week three's first quiz. We are going to the second quiz, which is basically on application layer. So the first question of application layer, unlike our five layer model, the OSI network model adds two more layers on top of application layer. Select examples of these new layers. These are the session layer, the presentation layer. Okay, number two, an example of something that operates all the application layer is known as a web browser. And number three, what is the standard number of TTL field? The standard number of TTL field is 64. Okay, so we have done our application layer quizzes. Now we are going to complete the graded assignment of this week. So let's check this out. The first question of the transport and application layer, the port 10244951 are known as registered ports. And Number two, the instantiation of an endpoint in a potential TCP connection is known as a socket. And number three, HTTP is an example of application layer protocol. Number four, application layer data leaps in the dash section of a transport layer protocol. Okay, so that's the main question. I have selected header, but that's not the correct answer. But so far, I think the correct answer will be the footer. But that's not, I'm not sure, you can check this out. Number five, the control flag that isn't really in use by modern network is hash flag is arc flag arc flag is not that much used nowadays number six a network has the ability to direct traffic toward all of the receiving services what provides this ability in transport layer this is called multiplexing number seven a transmission controls uh, protocol or tcp connection is in working order and both sides can send each other data uh, what is the tcp socket state this is established Number eight, what is the field? Which field in a TCP header provides the next expected segment is called acknowledgement number. Number nine, which field is a transmission control protocol or TCP header is not typically used in a modern networking is called known as urgent pointer. Number 10, the checksum doesn't compute for a packet sent at the IP level. What will happen to the data? Okay, so it will be sent back to the doing uh, to the sending node with an error that's a false answer so you guys should not answer this the answer in uh, the answer will be it will be sent but maybe out of the word number 11 in what order will the TCP generally send all segments sequential format number 12 how many transmission control protocol flags are there there are six flags number 13 one side in a TCP connection has not been able to properly recover from a series of malformed segments which TCP flag will be used? RST for reset. Number 14. Which TCP flag is used to make sure that the receiving end knows how to examine the sequence number field is known as SYN for synchronization. That's all about the graded assignment of TCP layer. Uh, there's another question of five layer network model. Uh, that's a written exam. So you guys should go through this and there's a, a hint there already given to you, physical layer data link. So you need to answer all these points you just you need to write down the definition of this okay so what are these things and then you will get the full marks as i got so don't try to copy this just try to use the uh, paraphrasing uh, paraphrase the same notion okay that's it because Coursera have some uh, legal uh, issues with your plagiarism so you should must you must read the honor course of Coursera and don't try to do something that will break your honor code and you must pay to the plagiarism if you do so so that's all Hope you will get also 100% mercy in this examination. And till then, uh, if this video helped you 1%, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for having.